to see me again Do you remember when I used to come over to your house every day? was hell a lot of fun <laughs> what is up you guys I hope you're having a wonderful day today I came all the way here to the valley just to fly the drone because I always wanted to fly the drone here and I never got a chance to and today I had to force myself to come out early in the morning here right now and fly the drone so yes I did it uh, okay okay back at the green corridor and as you can see why I didn't come here earlier <laughs> or why I haven't flew the drone earlier is because I only can fly the drone during the day and of course at night drone footage won't look good at all so I only have to come here during the day and it is a little hike to come all the way here <laughs> unless I ride the e-bike but uh, yeah I don't want to carry so much gears when riding the e-bike you know what I mean I've learned my lesson I don't want to drop my gears so that's why I decided to hike here and boy oh boy it's a hot day <laughs> by the way I have a question for you guys have any of you guys noticed the changes of season 16 okay so apart from the new camera setup apart from vlogging with a full frame camera I changed the colors slightly a bit I don't know if it's better or not but uh, you let me know I think it's better not gonna lie guys vlogging with a full frame camera holding it out and talking for a while the vlogging muscles is a little tired as well <sighs> well I was prepared for a workout today anyway so <laughs> so you guys this is Clementi Forest and over the years well over a few months there are new trails now <laughs> since when this trail exists <laughs> we've never seen this trail before I don't know where this leads to but uh ooh. okay this is so new guys seriously I tell you guys I am so tempted to go for an adventure like that because it's been a while it's been a while since we actually have a night hike or go for an adventure and man I missed it should never go on an adventure alone I see some of you guys some of you guys actually went on your own adventure and you guys go alone look it's fine to go alone, like I can go alone but if ever an accident happened if let's say I fall down or something and I'm stuck who's gonna help me? <laughs> so for your own safety always go with a partner or three three is actually the best another thing I changed for season 16 is that the title you know the one that I say is Living Like Liner by Liner Sui and then the episode and the season and the date well this season is going to be standardized last season what I did is that it was all over the place I just like oh try all the creative ways that the title can come in <laughs> all the creative transitions but uh, I feel like this season let's just make it a little cleaner let's just make it standardized so that it's easy because honestly titles it's not very important it's what I put out is important I'm getting a few like agnes here and there and it's also because of the mass and yeah it's because of the humidity as well it's like puberty all over again let me try using my left hand if I keep using on my right hand then one shoulder is gonna be stronger than the other <laughs> I also gotta build out the vlogging muscles for the left side <laughs> but uh, you know left can't be as steady as the right man it's a weekday today and as you can see the green corridor somewhat empty <laughs> I do see cyclists passing by here from time to time but uh, 
Yeah, it's so peaceful. You can actually hear the birds. So what's going to happen tomorrow is that I'm going for a meeting. I'm going for a corporate meeting and I will be doing a collaboration. Well, hopefully, we'll see. And if all goes well, then um, we might be traveling. <laughs> That's the only hint I can give you at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We will see. So I'm not too sure how I feel about this. Like everything is clean and nicely painted. You can see, look, the roof, so clean now. <laughs> the walls, pure white. I kind of liked it when it was raw and abandoned, like when the first time I was here. If you haven't watched that vlog, I'll leave a link here. You can go check it out. When it was abandoned, it felt so mysterious. It felt like there's lots of stories to be told. <laughs> lots of history. And now it's beautifully paved and look, they have a garden. Like flowers will be growing here in the future. Well, actually, look, there is already some sort of flower there. Ooh, okay. Now this is new, this is different. In the past, we always come by this entry on the right side here. And now the right side entry is closed, but there is a left side going to Bukitima Road now. Haha, -ha, new development. Yes, so now you enter from the left side instead of the right. See guys, this way to Bukitima Road. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> so this is the new entry. All right, that's pretty much it for the green corridor update. Um, I was just here to fly the drone. But I will see you when I get home. So we are back in the studio and uh, you know what? Some of you guys have feedback to me and told me you don't like the orange so much. So <clears throat> orange filter removed. Now it's white. It's a simple fix. And you know what? It's an exposure thing. And it's not easy to always balance the exposure, especially when you're doing it manually. The reason why I do it manually is because I wanted more control and not necessarily always having the camera to go automatic and then it increases and decreases the exposure by itself. I like to keep my ISO at 100 and shutter speed at 50 and of course aperture the lowest that it can go. So the thing is I always know what my settings are. So I'm always in full control. I'm a control freak. <laughs> so now you guys have seen a couple of episodes in season 16 and I think some of you are not sure of what's going on or why I'm doing this. So I'm kind of here to clarify what's going on. All the time in the past, I've always shared expertise of others. I've always shared with you what others do great. I have never shared with you guys what I know and what I've learned. And moving forward season 16, every single video, I try to give value by sharing with you some of the knowledge, some of the simple things like this orange filter. Put it on and I look a bit more orange. Warmer, warmer look. We don't call it orange. There's a warmer look and there's a cooler look. So cooler look would look a bit more bluish, whereas warmer would look a bit more orange. Let's remove this. And I'm not going to say I'm a smart ass and I know everything. I'm always learning along the way. And as I learn along the way, sharing with you, what's the harm? Now, one of the changes and adjustments I made is a bit of the color grading in season 16. Now, disclaimer, I'm not going to say I'm an expert. I don't know much about color grading, but I know every single season I change something and I tweak and adjust something just to, just to see how it goes. So we are here at Hot Park today and there's a little restaurant that allows pets. Usually once a week, we will take Hazel out and let her have a good meal at a restaurant. Let's go and check it out. Let's see what they have here. Let's see the food. Hopefully it's not too bad. So 
let's get into a bit of colour grading. The last couple of seasons, I think it was season 13, I started doing this colour grading thing. I will tell you, there is still plenty to learn and I have not really figured it out yet. So every season, I keep trying and adjusting and making a little changes to see what is better, what suits better. Now, the footage you're seeing right now, it is the footage coming out straight from the camera. I did reduce the contrast and the saturation because I don't want the camera to do all the editing for me. I don't want the camera to do all the enhancing for me. I want full control. I want the control to be me. I want myself to do the editing in post-production when I go back and color grade it. So right now, this is a flat profile you are seeing. And this right here, this is what I used for last season, season 15. This season, however, I've changed it to this color profile. <laughs> Just a slight adjustment, not too much. The more I keep doing it, the more I fine tune it, and the more I feel like, okay, this suits, this doesn't suit. So you gotta keep doing it in order to find out what suits best. Last season, for example, I did film grade. So I have this film look. This season, I removed this film look. So the film look kind of makes it a little softer. Well, I feel like I want more details and sharpness in my vlogs. So, yeah, these are the kind of things that you gotta try out. Otherwise, you wouldn't know what works best. Some of us are fine with whatever image that is coming out from the camera. That's automatic. <laughs> and some of us, like me, we just want a little bit more control. And the thing is, go have a go. Go try it. Because you're not gonna get it right the first time. And the more you do it, then you will know what kind of look you like. And we are back home now. Whew. That was a wonderful meal. But of course, slightly expensive. As always, if you go places where it's pet friendly, I don't know why, human food is more expensive. So what I have here is the Rogue Wireless Mic Go. I'm actually using it right now, connecting it to the camera. I'm not using the shotgun mic that I mounted on the top here. But um, yeah, I'm just curious. I haven't used the Rogue Wireless Mic Go for a while, so... I just want to see what the quality is like. I mean, I don't know. Does it work better this way? Like, is the sound quality a lot better? I don't know if the audio quality is a lot better than the shotgun mic, because if I could use this, then I don't have to connect the cable all the way to the camera. <laughs> I could just do it wirelessly right now. We'll see. I'm not sure. But I haven't used this wireless Go for a while. And ever since I got the Rogue Video Mic Pro Plus, I mean, that... Hang on. Whenever I'm outside and vlogging, this... This is the microphone I'm using. Audio is always fantastic. It has never let me down and... I mean, there's so much good things I could say about this microphone. I actually did a video about this. If you haven't watched that, I'll leave a link over here. You can go check it out. And the thing is, ever since using this mic, no microphone that I have actually beats the quality of this. <laughs> so that is why I just stick to the Rogue Video Mic Pro Plus now. All right, so now you have heard the audio quality coming out from this little baby. Let's connect it back to the shotgun mic and then you can immediately hear the difference. One, two, three, boom. And now we are back with the shotgun mic, the Rogue Video Micro. Do you actually feel the difference? What I'm trying to do this season is to try out different things, different methods. And you guys, the audience, are the one who's gonna give me the feedback. And as you give me your feedback, I make slight little adjustments along the way. And that way, I learn something and you guys learn something as well. Or maybe you guys are the teacher and you guys can teach me. It is all about learning and sharing this season. <laughs> I think this year we are hopeful and I think it is possible to travel somehow. I just can't give you a definite date yet, but eventually, you know, this channel was built on traveling. We went to Malaysia, Hong Kong, Bali, Phuket. Yeah, for sure I would want to go travel again. So don't lose hope because things are opening up and uh, restrictions are getting better now. And even the strictness of testing and quarantine, they will slowly subside eventually. Singapore is moving towards vaccination status instead of like VTL or quarantine or travel bubbles. So I think moving forward, if you want to come to Singapore, as long as you're vaccinated, you'll be fine. And I think that's pretty much it for today's vlog. If you enjoyed this vlog, please remember to give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe if you're new here and leave a comments. Let me know what you think of the whole setup and the color grading for this season and the audio. Yeah, let me know your feedback. Leave your comments down below. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you guys get a notification whenever I post a video. 
Man, YouTube, why do you always have to make us say all this? <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! I'm glad I flew the drone today. I am. See, this is why I want to travel so much. In Singapore, very little places that you can fly a drone. Overseas, other countries, so many nice places to fly the drones. It is a green light today. <laughs> I just decided to have a green team today. What other colors do I have? Red, we did red before. We did the green. Blue, we did before. Okay, green it is.